Here we are at beautiful Chatfield Reservoir, a state park in Colorado. The demo we are performing today is to show the range of the Mongoose system without requiring any booster electronics, but extending the range using some simple commercial antennas. This is an overview map of the reservoir. This demo shows field units being fired at a range of nearly three miles. The point at the upper right is where we are firing from, and the point at the lower left is where the field units are located. Here we are using a $30 Yagi antenna at the base unit. It is mounted on a $30 speaker stand and connected via cable to the standard Mongoose base radio. The base radio is plugged into the laptop and the system is controlled from here. Three miles away at the field units, you can see there is no direct line of sight to the top of the dam. Trees block the way. A similar antenna setup is used at the field units as seen here. Separate antennas can be plugged into field units used at this distance, or you can use the Mongoose Flex Extender Unit to control local field units with a single Yagi antenna. The Flex in turn communicates with any number of field units within a couple thousand feet of the Flex unit. Flex units are not normally used for range extension since the basic range of a Mongoose base radio can handle any traditional firework show directly. Usually, it is used to get around significant terrain obstacles like large hills or dams, or large buildings and obstructions in urban areas. It functions as a command relay and is managed by the Mongoose system. In this case, we have attached the Yagi antenna to the flex unit, and the flex unit is connected to a regular rubber ducky antenna, which can be mounted to a stake or pole in the area of the field units to communicate with them. Even at three miles, we get three out of five bars on the communication strength indicator, so the actual range of this setup is much greater. Now we will see it in action. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're actually three miles away from the uh, dam. We're at uh, Chatfield Reservoir here in Colorado. And if you kind of look that way, it, we're going through trees and a lot of other uh, items. Um, so there's not really a direct line of sight, but we're three miles away from the top of the dam where the other antenna is. Rather than using boosters and other kinds of electronics, all you have to attach to ours is a simple Yagi antenna, and we could get three miles pretty easily on line of sight. And then also down here is our new flex unit, which is um, necessary if you want to you know, get around buildings, get around objects, um, if you have to do a city show where buildings are in different uh, areas. Uh, al altitudes and there's no direct line of sight, you could use these to go around right angles and things like that. And in this case, we have the Yagi connected to the base station. Um, just hung the other antenna over here, the standard uh, rubber ducky antenna. Um, normally we put that on a stake and it's in contact with all of the field units out here. So um, you can run a whole show from three miles away using a setup like this. Or you can put the Yagis on an individual field unit if you only need it to get to one effect of a long ways away. But either way, you don't need a lot of electronics, you just need a couple of $30 antennas and it extends the range of the system to three miles. We have three bars of communication. I don't know if you can actually see that screen or not. But we have three bars of communication. At three miles away, using nothing but $30 Yagi antennas connected to field units, or in this case, the Flex unit, which allows us to have one major antenna back to the computer and, and another antenna that controls the uh, various field units out here. So now we're going to go ahead and arm the units from three miles away. So why don't we go ahead and arm them? I didn't catch all that. Go ahead and arm them. Okay, so now all the units are active. So now that uh, we've got them armed, and we actually uh, are doing firing now from three miles in that direction, using nothing more than a Yagi, a flex unit, and all three of these field units are set to the same address, so you hear them all firing at the same time. They chirp when they fire. So that's at three miles away, again, using nothing more than a $30 Yagi antenna connected to the uh, Mongoose field units. They don't need anything for most shows, but even if you have special situations like filming from having to shoot from dams or having to shoot from uh, other locations, um, this could let you do it.